Philipp Franz Balthasar von Seibold was a German physician, botanist, and traveler. He achieved prominence by his studies of Japanese flora and fauna and the introduction of Western medicine in Japan. He was the father of the first female Japanese doctor, Kosuma Toin. Career, early life, born into a family of doctors and professors of medicine in Würzburg. Seibold initially studied medicine at University of Würzburg from November 1815, where he became a member of the Cormonania Würzburg. One of his professors was Franz Zavohella, author of the Flora Würzburgensis. Ignaz Dollinger, his professor of anatomy and physiology, however, most influenced him. Dollinger was one of the first professors to understand and treat medicine as a natural science. Seibold stayed with Dollinger, where he came in regular contact with other scientists. He read the books of Humboldt, a famous naturalist and explorer, which probably raised his desire to travel to distant lands. Philip Franz von Seibold became a physician by earning his M.D. degree in 1820. He initially practiced medicine in Heidingsfeld, in the Kingdom of Bavaria, now part of Würzburg. Invited to Holland by an acquaintance of his family, Seibold applied for a position as a military physician, which would enable him to travel to the Dutch colonies. He entered the Dutch military service on June 19, 1822, and was appointed as ship's surgeon on the frigate Adriana, sailing from Rotterdam to Batavia in the Dutch East Indies. On his trip to Batavia on the frigate Adriana, Seibold practiced his knowledge of the Dutch language and also rapidly learned Malay, and during the long voyage he began a collection of marine fauna. He arrived in Batavia on February 18, 1823. As an army medical officer, Seibold was posted to an artillery unit. However, he was given a room for a few weeks at the residence of the Governor-General of the Dutch East Indies, Baron Goddard van der Capellen, to recover from an illness. With his erudition, he impressed the Governor-General and also the director of the Botanical Garden at Butensorg, Caspar Georg Karl Reinwart. These men sensed in Seibold a worthy success to Engelbert Kempfer and Karl Peter Thunberg, two former resident physicians at Dejima, a Dutch trading post in Japan, the latter of whom was the author of Flora Japonica. The Batavian Academy of Arts and Sciences soon elected Seibold as a member. Arrival in Japan on 28 June 1823, after only a few months in the Dutch East Indies, Seibold was posted as resident physician and scientist to Dojima, a small artificial island and trading post at Nagasaki, and arrived there on the 11th of August 1823. During an eventful voyage to Japan he only just escaped drowning during a typhoon in the East China Sea, as only a very small number of Dutch personnel were allowed to live on this island. The posts of physician and scientist had to be combined. Dejima had been in the possession of the Dutch East India Company since the 17th century, but the company had gone bankrupt in 1798, after which a trading post was operated the by the Dutch state for political considerations, with notable benefits to the Japanese. The European tradition of sending doctors with botanical training to Japan was a long one. Sent on a mission by the Dutch East India Company, Engelbert Kempfer, a German physician and botanist who lived in Japan from 1690 until 1692, ushered in this tradition of a combination of physician and botanist. The Dutch East India Company did not, however, actually employ the Swedish botanist and physician Carl Peter Thunberg, who had arrived in Japan in 1775. 
medical practice. Japanese scientists invited Cybolv to show them the marvels of Western science, and he learned in return through them much about their Japanese and their customs. After curing an influential local officer, Cybold gained the permission to leave the trade post. He used this opportunity to treat Japanese patients in the greater area around the trade post. Cybold is credited with the introduction of vaccination and pathological anatomy for the first time in Japan. In 1824, Cybold started a medical school in Nagasaki. The Narutaki Jukus that grew into to a meeting place for around 50 students. They helped him in his botanical and naturalistic studies. The Dutch language became the lingua franca for these academic and scholarly contacts for a generation, until the Meiji Restoration. His patients paid him in kind with a variety of objects and artifacts that would later gain historical significance. These everyday objects later became the basis of his large ethnographic collection, which consisted of everyday household goods, woodblock prints, tools and handcrafted objects used by the Japanese people. Japanese family. During his stay in Japan, Cybold lived together with Kosuma Totaki, who gave birth to the daughter Kosuma Toain in 1827. Cybold used to call his wife Otakusa and named a hydrangea after her. Kusuma Toine eventually became the first Japanese woman known to have received a physician's training and became a highly regarded practicing physician and court physician to the Empress in 1882. She died at court in 1903. Studies of Japanese fauna and flora. His main interest, however, focused on the study of Japanese fauna and flora. He collected as much material as he could, starting a small botanical garden behind his home. Cybold amassed over 1,000 native plants. In a specially built glass house, he cultivated the Japanese plants to endure the Dutch climate. Local Japanese artists like Kawahara Kiga drew and painted images of these plants, creating botanical illustrations but also images of the daily life in Japan, which complex implemented his ethnographic collection. He hired Japanese hunters to track rare animals and collect specimens. Many specimens were collected with the help of his Japanese collaborators Keisu Keito, Mizutani Sujirakus, Okochi Zonshin and Katsuraga Wehoken, a physician to the Shogun. As well, Seibold's assistant and later successor, Heinrich Berger, proved to be indispensable in carrying on on Seibold's work in Japan. Seibold first introduced to Europe such familiar garden plants as the Hosta and the Hydrangea Otaxa. Unknown to the Japanese, he was also able to smuggle out germinative seeds of tea plants to the botanical garden Butens Org in Batavia. Through this single act, he started the tea culture in Java, a Dutch colony at the time. Until then Japan had strictly guarded the trade in tea plants. Remarkably, in 1833, Java already could boast a half million tea plants. He also introduced Japanese knotweed, which has become a highly invasive weed in Europe and North America, all derived from a single female plant collected by Seibel. During his stay at Dejima, Seibel sent three shipments with an unknown number of herbarium specimens to Leiden, Ghent, Brussels and Antwerp. The shipment to Leiden contained the first specimens of the Japanese giant salamander to be sent to Europe. In 1825 the government of the Dutch Indies provided him with two assistants, apothecary and mineralogist Heinrich Berger and the painter Karl Hubert de Villeneuve. Each would prove to be useful to Seibold's efforts that ranged from ethnographical to botanical to horticultural, when attempting to document the exotic East Eastern Japanese experience. De Villeneuve taught Kawahara the techniques of Western painting. Reportedly, Seibold was not the easiest man to deal with. 
He was in continuous conflict with his Dutch superiors who felt he was arrogant. This threat of conflict resulted in his recall in July 1827 back to Batavia, but the ship, the Cornelis Houtman, sent to carry him back to Batavia, was thrown ashore by a typhoon in Nagasaki Bay. The same storm badly damaged Dejima and destroyed Seibold's botanical garden. Repaired, the Cornelis Houtman was refloated. It left for Batavia with 89 crates of Seibold's salvaged botanical collection, but Seibold himself remained behind in Dejima. Seibold Incident In 1826 Seibold made the court journey to Edo. During this long trip he collected many plants and animals, but he also obtained from the court astronomer Takahashi Keijiyasu several detailed maps of Japan and Korea, an act strictly forbidden by the Japanese government. When the Japanese discovered, by accident, that Seibold had a map of the northern parts of Japan, the government accused him of high treason and of being a spy for Russia. The Japanese placed Seibold under house arrest and expelled him from Japan on the 22nd of October 1829. Satisfied that his Japanese collaborators would continue his work, he journeyed back on the frigate Java to his former residence, Batavia, in possession of his enormous collection of thousands of animals and plants, his books and his maps. The botanical garden of Butenzorg would soon house Seibold's surviving, living flora collection of 2,000 plants. He arrived in the Netherlands on 7 July 1830. His stay in Japan and Batavia had lasted for a period of eight years. Return to Europe Philip Franz von Seibold arrived in the Netherlands in 1830, just at a time when political troubles erupted in Brussels, leading soon to Belgian independence. Hastily he salvaged his ethnographic collections in Antwerp and his herbarium specimens in Brussels and took them to Leiden. He left behind his botanical collections of living plants that were sent to the University of Ghent. The consequent expansion of this collection collection of rare and exotic plants led to the horticultural fame of Ghent. In gratitude the University of Ghent presented him in 1841 with specimens of every plant from his original collection. Seibold settled in Leiden, taking with him the major part of his collection, the Philip Franz von Seibold collection, containing many type specimens, was the earliest botanical collection from Japan. Even today, it still remains a subject of ongoing research, a testimony to the depth of work undertaken by Seibold. It contained about 12,000 specimens, from which he could describe only about 2,300 species. The whole collection was purchased for a handsome amount by the Dutch government. Seibold was also granted substantial annual allowance by the Dutch King William II and was appointed advisor to the King for Japanese affairs. In 1842, the King even raised Seibold to the nobility as an esquire. The Seibold collection opened to the public in 1831. He founded a museum in his home in 1837. This small, private museum would eventually evolve into the National Museum of Ethnology in Leiden. Seibold's successor in Japan, Heinrich Berger, sent Seibold three more shipments of herbarium specimens collected in Japan. This flora collection formed the basis of the Japanese collections of the National Herbarium of the Netherlands in Leiden and the Natural History Museum Naturalis. In 1845 Seibold married Hélène von Gagin. They had three sons and two daughters. Writings During his stay in Leiden, Seibold wrote Nippon in 1832, the first part of a volume of a richly illustrated ethnographical and geographical work on Japan. The Archives Jur Beschreibung Nippons also contained a report of his journey to the Shogunate court at Edo. He wrote six further parts, the last ones published posthumously in 1882. His sons published an edited and lower-priced reprint in 1887.
the Bibliotheca Japonica appeared, between 1833 and 1841. This work was co-authored by Joseph Hoffman and Kuo Chengchang, a Javanese of Chinese extraction who had journeyed along with Seibold from Batavia. It contained a survey of Japanese literature and a Chinese, Japanese and Korean dictionary. The zoologists Koenrad Temink, Hermann Schlegel, and Wilhelm de Haan scientifically described and documented Seibold's collection of Japanese animals. The Fauna Japonica, a series of monographs published between 1833 and 1850, was mainly based on Seibold's collection, making the Japanese fauna of the best described non-European fauna a remarkable feat. A significant part of the Fauna Japonica was also based on the collections of Seibold's successor on Dejima, Heinrich Berger. Seibold wrote his Flora Japonica in collaboration with the German and botanist Joseph Gerhard Zuccherini. It first appeared in 1835, but the work was not completed until after his death, finished in 1870 by F. A. W. Mackell, director of the Reichsherbarium in Leiden. This work expanded Seibold's scientific fame from Japan to Europe. For the Hortus Botanicus Leiden, the Botanical Garden of Leiden, many of Seibold's plants spread to Europe and from there to other countries, Hosta and Hortensia, Azalea, and the Japanese Butterbur and the Colt's Foot as well as the Japanese Larch began to inhabit gardens across the world. International endeavors after his return to Europe, Seibold tried to exploit his knowledge of Japan. Whilst living in Bopid, from 1852 he corresponded with Russian diplomats such as Baron von Budberg Boninghausen, the Russian ambassador to Prussia, which resulted in an invitation to go to St. Petersburg to advise the Russian government how to open trade relations with Japan. Though still employed by the Dutch government he did not inform the Dutch of this voyage until after his return. American naval Commodore Matthew C. Perry consulted Seibold in advance of his voyage to Japan in 1854. In 1858 the Japanese government lifted the banishment of Seibold. He returned to Japan in 1859 as an advisor to the agent of the Dutch Trading Society in Nagasaki, Albert Bourdieu. After two years the connection with the Trading Society was severed as the advice of Seibold was of no value. In Nagasaki he fathered another child with one of his female servants. In 1861 Seibold organized his appointment as an advisor to the Japanese government and went in that function to Edo. Though he tried to obtain a position between the foreign representatives and the Japanese government, as he had been specially admonished by the Dutch authorities before going to Japan that he was to abstain from all interference in politics, the Dutch consul general in Japan, J.K. de Witt, was ordered to ask Seibold's removal. Seibold was ordered to return to Batavia and from there he returned to Europe. After his return he asked the Dutch government to employ him as consul general in Japan but the Dutch government severed all relations with Seibold, who had a huge debt because of loans given to him, except for the payment of his pension. Seibold kept trying to organize another voyage to Japan. After he did not succeed in gaining employment with the Russian government, he went to Paris in 1865 to try to interest the French government in funding another expedition to Japan, but failed. He died in Munich on 18 October 1866. Plants named after Seibel, the botanical and horticultural spheres of influence have honored Philip Franz von Seibel by naming some of the very garden-worthy plants that he studied after him. Examples include Acer Seiboldianum, a Seibel's maple is a variety of maple native to Japan. Calantha Seiboldia Seibel's Calantha is a terrestrial evergreen orchid native to Japan. The Rukyu I Islands and Taiwan. Clematis Florida VAR. Cyboldiana have somewhat difficult clematis to grow well, but are much sought after plant nevertheless. 
dry teres cyboldi, a fern with leathery fronds. Hosta cyboldi of which a large garden may have a dozen quite distinct cultivars. Magnolia cyboldi, the underappreciated small Iama magnolia. Malis cyboldi, the fragrant Toringo crabapple whose pink buds fade to white. Primula cyboldi, the Japanese woodland Primula sakurasu. Pruna cyboldi, a flowering cherry. Sedum cyboldi, of succulent whose leaves form rose like whorls. Sugus cyboldi, the Japanese hemlock. Viburnum cyboldi, a deciduous large shrub that has creamy white flowers in spring and red berries that ripen to black in autumn. Dot. Also a type of abalone, Nordotis gigantea is known as Cybold's abalone and is prized for sushi, though he is well known in Japan, where he is called Shiboruto san and although mentioned in the relevant school books, Cybold is almost unknown elsewhere, except among gardeners who admire the many plants whose names incorporate Cyboldi and Cyboldiana. The Hortus botanicus in Leiden has recently laid out the von Seibold Memorial Garden, a Japanese garden with plants sent by Seibold. The garden was laid out under a 150-year-old Zalkova serrata tree dating from Seibold's lifetime. Japanese visitors come and visit this garden to pay their respect for him. Seibold Museums, although he was disillusioned by what he perceived as a lack of appreciation for Japan and his contributions to its understanding, a testimony of the remarkable character of Seibold is found in museums that honor him. Japan Museum Seibold Hewish in Leiden, Netherlands, shows highlights from the Leiden Seibold collections in the transformed, refitted, formal, first house of Seibold in Leiden. The National Museum of Ethnology in Leiden, Netherlands houses the large collection which Seibold brought together during his first stay in Japan. The State Museum of Ethnology in Munich, Germany, houses the collection of Philip Franz von Seibold from his second voyage to Japan and a letter of Seibold to King Ludwig I in which he urged the monarch to found a Museum of Ethnology at Munich. Seibold's grave, in the shape of a Buddhist pagoda, is in the altar Munchner Sudfried Ho. He is also commemorated in the name of a street and a large number of mentions in the Botanical Garden at Munich. A Seibold museum exists in Würzburg, Germany. Nagasaki, Japan, pays tribute to Seibold by housing the Seibold Memorial Museum on property adjacent to Seibold's former residence in the Narutaki neighborhood, the first museum dedicated to a non-Japanese in Japan. His collections laid the foundation for the ethnographic museums of Munich and Leiden. Alexander von Seibold, his son by his European wife, donated much of the material left behind after Seibold's death in Würzburg to the British Museum in London. The Royal Scientific Academy of St. Petersburg purchased 600 colored plates of the Flora Japonica. Another son, Heinrich von Seibold, continued part of his father's research. He is recognized, together with Edward S. Morse, as one of the founders of modern archaeological efforts in Japan. Published works, Nippon, Archives der Beschreibung von Japan und dessen Neben und Schutzlanden, Jeso mit den Sudlichen Kirlen, Kraft und Kurai und den Lyukiu Inseln, seven volumes, Leiden, Voyage und Japon execute a pendant les ANNE acutes 1823 a 1830 French abridged version of Nippon, contains 72 plates from Nippon, with a slight variation in size and paper. Revised and enlarged edition by his sons in 1897, Nippon. Archive der Beschreibung von Japan. 2. Veranda te und Ergans te Offlage HRSG. Von Sinan Sonnen. 2 volumes. Wurzburg and Leipzig.
translation of the part of Nippon on Korea, Audovain Walraven, Fritz Vost, Korean Studies in Early 19th Century Leiden, Korean Histories 2.2, 75-85, 2010, Synopsis Hydrangea Generis Specie Romae Ponicarum, in Novracta Physico Medica Academiae Caesarea Leopoldino Carolina Volume 14, Part E. Flora Japonica, Leiden, Plantarum, Guas in Japon Ecology Dry, Ph. F. Abdsibol Genera Novra, Notice Characteristici is Delineation of Buskillistrata Proponund, in Abhandlung and der Mathematisch Physikalischen Klasse der Königlich Bayerischen Akademie der Wissenschaften Volume. 3, pp. 717-750, Flori Japonici Familii Naturalis Adjectus Genera Me Specieren Exemplus Selectus. Sectio Prima, Plantae Cotolidni e Polypetali, in Abhandlung and der Mathematisch Physikalischen Klasse der Königlich Bayerischen Akademie der Wissenschaften Volume. 4 Party, pp. 109-204, Flori Japonici Familii Naturalis Adjectus Genera Me Specieren Exemplus Selectus. Sectio Altera, Plantae Cotolidni e Monocotlidne, in Abhandlung and der Mathematisch Physikalischen Klasse der Königlich Bayerischen Akademie der Wissenschaften Volume. 4 Party, pp Vol. 4 pp 123-240, Manners and Customs of the Japanese in the 19th Century, London, Murray, 1841 via Hathi Trust. From recent Dutch visitors of Japan and the German of Dr. P. H. F. R. von Seibold, the standard author abbreviation Seibold is used to indicate Philip Franz von Seibold as the author when citing a botanical name. Escape drowning during a typhoon in the East China Sea, as only a very small number of Dutch personnel were allowed to live on this island. The posts of physician and scientist had to be combined. Dejima had been in the possession of the Dutch East India Company since the 17th century, but the company had gone bankrupt in 1798, after which a trading post was operated there by the Dutch state for political considerations with notable benefits to the Japanese. The European tradition of sending doctors with botanical training to Japan was a long one, sent on a mission by the Dutch East India Company. Engelbert Kempfer, a German physician and botanist who lived in Japan from 1690 until 6. Philip Franz Balthasar von Seibold was a German physician, botanist, and traveler. He achieved prominence by his studies of Japanese flora and fauna and the introduction of Western medicine in Japan. He was the father of the first female Japanese doctor, Kosuma Toain, Korea, early life, born into a family of doctors and professors of medicine in Würzburg. Seibold initially studied medicine at University of Würzburg from November 1815, where he became a member of the Cormonania Würzburg. One of his professors was Franz Zavohella, author of the Flora Würzburgensis. Ignaz Dollinger, his professor of anatomy and physiology, however, most influenced him. Dollinger was one of the first professors to understand and treat medicine as a natural science. Seibold stayed with Dollinger, where he came in regular contact with other scientists. He read the books of Humboldt, a famous naturalist and explorer, which probably raised his desire to travel to distant lands. Philip Franz von Seibold became a physician by earning his M.D. degree in 1820. He initially practiced medicine in Heidingsfeld, in the Kingdom of Bavaria, now part of Würzburg. Invited to Holland by an acquaintance of his family, Seibold applied for a position as a military physician, which would enable him to travel to the Dutch colonies. He entered the Dutch military service on June 19, 1822. Georg Karl Reinwart. These men sensed in Seibold a worthy successor to Engel. 
Albert Kempfer and Carl Peter Thunberg, two former resident physicians at Dejima, a Dutch trading post in Japan, the latter of whom was the author of Flora Japonica. The Batavian Academy of Arts and Sciences soon elected Seibold as a member. Arrival in Japan, on 28 June 1823, after only a few months in the Dutch East Indies, Seibold was posted as resident physician and scientist to Dojima, a small artificial island and trading post at Nagasaki, and arrived there on of August 1823. During an eventful voyage to Japan he only just and was appointed as ship's surgeon on the frigate Adriana, sailing from Rotterdam to Batavia in the Dutch East Indies. On his trip to Batavia on the frigate Adriana, Seibold practiced his knowledge of the Dutch language and also rapidly learned Malay, and during the long voyage he began a collection of marine fauna. He arrived in Batavia on February 18, 1823. As an army medical officer, Seibold was posted to an artillery unit. However, he was given a room for a few weeks at the residence of the Governor-General of the Dutch East Indies, Baron Goddard van der Capellen, to recover from an illness. With his erudition, he impressed the Governor-General and also the Director of the Botanical Garden at Butensorg, Kasper